Welcome to this edition of Miami Icons. And with us today is a very iconic person with a remarkable name in this community. Felipe Valls Jr., welcome. Pleasure to be here. Bring us through the history of the Valls family and everything that you've been able to achieve within the city of Miami. The city kind of picked us, obviously, now because of the situation in Cuba. We left fairly early on. My dad was like 25, and my older sister and I were already born. I came when I was two years old. He came over here and started working in odd jobs. He found a job in South Miami Avenue selling restaurant equipment on the street, and he convinced the owner to lend him some money to bring in some espresso machines from Barcelona and Milano. So we see in the famous Ventanita of famous, Versailles. The famous Ventanitas. And he started with him bringing them in and setting up kind of coffee uh, machines and some refrigeration for mainly bodegas and markets, including the one on Flagler that was called El Oso Blanco, which was a market that had a counter. He installed a coffee machine and he had a, a picture, fixed picture window there. And he told them, why don't you take this window out and put a guillotine window? We'll take the emollient out, we'll put a little counter and you can sell coffee to people walking by the street. So he opened the first Ventanita in Miami. And from there he did a few of those and then eventually bought a little restaurant called Badillas on 8th and 16th. And then sold that and with that money bought the front corner of what Versailles is today. That's the restaurant we had as, as I was growing up. That's the restaurant I worked in. I worked in construction a lot in the summers and always in the kitchen of Versailles. Later on, as we were negotiating the land on Flagler, just finishing my third year of college, we finished building the castle and we opened El Cid to great reviews. It was a tremendous restaurant for many years. You continued to keep that tradition with the uniforms. Right, we've left the retro <laughs> uniforms. So we just continued <laughs> with that look and it stayed and it just become such a symbol Today, we have Casa Cuba in South Miami, Mesa Mar in the Gables, which is like an eclectic seafood restaurant. We have Casa Juancho here, and then all the Carretas in Versailles. Bring me back to the vows. I know your daughters, you have five daughters, correct? Six, last time I counted. Six? <laughs> right, there's six. That alone makes me more known than any other restaurant that we've opened. <laughs> Who has six daughters, right? You give back to the community, and that's a wonderful thing. You're a big proponent of giving back to the elderly, giving back to police. Felipe Sr. donated a horse to the Miami Police Department. His name is Felipon, named after your dad. Correct. We have um, wonderful views of him, and Felipon walks up and down Southwest 8th Street. How do you feel about that? Felipe Sr. was a special guy. He was <laughs> truly one of the kindest, most giving guys I've ever seen. He was just a a tremendous example to myself, my sisters, and more especially to my daughters that saw what it is to be Absolutely. someone and have something, yet be humble and, and natural. The Vows family is so very giving to the city of Miami, and we're very thankful for everything you have done for the police department, the fire department, and, and, and the residents. I've always wondered one thing. I want to crack the recipe to the cilantro sauce. It's basically a cilantro alioli, so it's a, right. a, it's a homemade mayo or alioli with garlic and then it basically has just a lot of, a lot of minced cilantro and lime. How you have La Carreta and Versailles like half a block away, literally half a block away. And well, they told us in the beginning that we were crazy to do that. You know, Versailles was very busy and we figured another one would be busy and it's worked out pretty well. I want to thank you, your family for always continuing to keeping the city thriving and for keeping the cafecito coming and the ventanita, the yeah. stomping ground for the Cuban and Hispanic community. Thank you, I appreciate it. And the cafecito in the window is something very unique that we also very feel proud of. It's just a part of us, just like the food is. It's both. Awesome, thank you so, so much. We're very glad, thank you, appreciate it.